G'day everybody and welcome to the weekly update. Most of you would be aware of the incident that occurred recently at Port Campbell. On behalf of the Country Fire Authority, our thoughts with our emergency services colleagues from Life Saving Victoria and the Victorian State Emergency Service, who those members volunteered with. And our thoughts also with the family and friends of all those involved. And in particular, our own member, who is also a lifesaver and a member of CFA and was injured in the incident. Yesterday, across the state, many CFA brigades paid their respects to our servicemen and women for Anzac Day. It's a great day, a time to remember those who've served and those CFA people who continue to serve their communities. And also thanks to all those brigades and your families who participated in the many memorial services across the state. Safety, as always, remains our highest priority for our members and our communities. And training is one of the most important methods we use to keep us all safe. But unfortunately, we see too many injuries occurring as a result of those training exercises. So I'm asking you to make sure you fully understand the hazards and the safety requirements that uh, need to be attached to training. Ensure you conduct a risk assessment before you undertake a training exercise. And importantly, remember you should wear the same safety equipment you would at an incident. That ensures we're able to continue our roles protecting our communities and keep you safe. While well, I'm on the theme of safety, we're still in the fire danger period with some districts being extended well into May. So please ensure that you're out there reminding our local communities they need to um, stay vigilant, be careful whenever they're using fire outdoors and register their fires if they are able to have one. And this afternoon, nine CFA firefighters will join their emergency services colleagues for the, for the ACS football team. They will take on the Australian Defence All-Star team as a curtain raised at a Port Adelaide and North Melbourne AFL match in Adelaide. A fantastic effort to have nine members in that team just from CFA, so well done and good luck to all of you. Finally, I've been appointed the Acting Chief Executive Officer for the next month, as well as continuing my role as Acting Chief Officer. It's a great honour for me, and uh, I intend to give it the best shot that I can and continue to support the organisation the best way I can. And in saying that, I'd just like to also once again thank Paul Smith for his service over the last 14 months as our CEO and wish him all the very best for his future. Thanks everyone, stay safe.